Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with my review of Infinity Train, a new Cartoon Network pilot. Infinity Train was created by Owen Dennis and it has a very interesting premise and I really wonder where this show will go from this point forward. The episode starts off with Tulip, the main character who is voiced by Gwen's voice actor from Ben 10 if you caught that. And Tulip has been trapped on a train for a week and I can only assume that this train is the Infinity Train. She has the number 53 in her hand and she's traveling with a robot named 1-1 that can split into two halves that can act independently. And I'm guessing this show will involve her solving various puzzles or helping people with problems on the Infinity Train. And then these events will probably change the number on her hand and I wouldn't be surprised if some acts caused the number to go up instead of go down which would allow the show to be on longer and would also allow the character to struggle, you know. You didn't solve this problem properly so the number is going to go back up because you have to fix this problem or you have to fix it in another car. Or they could just incorporate her other hand into it and use another number after she finishes the first number. Or they can incorporate her other hand and just put a number on there. Or they could use another number after she finishes the first one. You know, this this ride isn't over yet. There's more to it. You know, there are various ways to make this show longer because I just think having the number 53 on her hand and then having her solve problems can make the show end up being very short. But who knows? Who knows? This is the pilot. We don't know everything. But that's just kind of my idea. So Tulip and 1-1, they end up solving the puzzle and they're able to open the next door and they're able to move on to the next train car. And the show gets its fart joke out of the way in the first episode and it's actually pretty gross. It's just a train car of farts. It was actually gross to watch. <laughs> that, that was pretty bad. <laughs> So, the next train car takes them to a land of just corgis. Yep, I love this show. I love it. That, that's a great idea. It's so out there, but it works. I like that. And the weird thing about this show is I'm not sure ex what exactly the train is. You know, they're going into these different cars. The first car that she was in, if you notice, that was a train car with the puzzle and if you notice the first two train cars before they show the main character or the main cast or whatever there was a room with bubbles and there was a room with chess pieces so was that just the room and everything because the next train car as I said is the one um, with all the corgis so that's a huge world inside of one train car it's just like what is this train you know you can say the infinity train that can mean like oh there's anything on here but but why? You know, why are there worlds on here? Just, you know, I hope we get an explanation on that, like, maybe towards the end of the show and everything. So, why are there animals on this train? And I'm sure there are humans on this train, too, because it only makes sense. And why not try to leave the train while moving to the next car? I know it's moving very fast, but I'm sure they can come up with some kind of way to save themselves as they were to jump off of the train car. Because when they leave the train car there's a little area where they are actually outside the train and you can see the train moving and everything so what if they were to jump off the infinity train is that possible who knows and back to the corgi thing or the corgi world or whatever we learn that the door to the next car is locked and a shadowy figure appears in the distance and it's been disrupting the city for a long time and they have a pretty genius joke about the King Corgi, Atticus wanting to go outside, I like that. And really all of the dog jokes in this episode were great. Atticus insists that the event in their car is related to Tulip's number. Because Tulip just wants to solve the number problem on her hand, but Atticus, he wants help and he's, I guess he's intelligent, so he assumes that, you know, these two things are related. If you're traveling in a train, you're trying to go from car to car, this number is on your hand. Uh, it's probably related, you know, this door is not open, you probably have to solve this problem or defeat this problem to get off the, the train car and move on to the next one. So, there's a travel montage, they find out that the shadow was because of a spider, but that's not exactly the case. They end up discovering a mechanical monster that is causing problems with the water, and the monster reminded me of No Face from Spirited Away, and it actually ends up pitting Atticus, which I thought might upset some people since is a dog and people care more about dogs than other human beings for some reason and the monster disappears and the number on Tulip's hand goes down to 49 again I'm not sure what this means uh, I'm not sure why the number went down 
because to me it didn't seem like she solved the problem she ran into this monster but she didn't defeat it or anything it just kind of ran away so who knows but that was the end of the episode so what did I think about this episode I can tell this is gonna have to be somewhat plot driven just because of the way it's going it has to have a plot and I want this to be a long TV show, but I don't really see it ending up that way unless there are multiple numbers, which I mentioned earlier. So if she has multiple numbers that have to go down, another number that appears on her hand or uh, both hands or maybe another place in her body where she has another number, then I can see the show going on for a long time. Or, you know, it, they have to find a way to make the show go on longer just because, like, oh, it's Infinity Train. And again, a lot of people have been saying, like, this show is good and every, everything. So if this show does end up on Cartoon Network, I'm sure it's going to do well. I'd like to see more of Atticus as the main, as like, one of the main characters. It seemed like he was one of the main characters. And I did look on the creator's Twitter and he mentioned, not on his Twitter, but Cartoon Network's Twitter, um, it mentioned that, you know, there was a girl, a dog, and a robot. So that might be our main cast right there. It's always good to have a trio in a show. The animation isn't great, the style is kind of plain, but that's not a major problem at all. The show is very engaging and I hope Cartoon Network picks it up as a show. So what did you think about Infinity Train? Should Atticus join the team? Should this become a show? And what's the point of the number on Tulip's hand? Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm Sermo11, see you next time, and peace out.